In 2010, the Maya Conservancy of Guatemala and Izapa Cosmos of Mexico organized the Mayas to Izapa Creation Calendar Ceremony Tour. Thirteen Quiche and Cachical Maya elders and a dozen Maya scholars were invited to record the Maya ceremony for posterity. Archaeologist Garth Norman and his wife Cheryl participated. The Quiche Maya of Guatemala are cousins with the Cachiquil, and as recorded in the Totonicapan documents, profess their ancestors came agently from across the sea, from the region of Babylonia. Izapa, in southern Mexico, is the birthplace of their sacred 260-day calendar. The tour for the Maya ceremonies began in Atigua, and then proceeded to the ancient sites of Ximche, Santiago Atitlan, Takalikabaj, Izapa, ending at their home of Momostanango in the highlands of Guatemala. All the ceremonies were the same and began with the Maya leader Rigoberto Itzap dedicating the ceremony to their ancestral roots so the tree trunk and branches, which represent their families, would be blessed with wisdom from the ancients. The Maya men are dressed in white with red headscarves, red shawl and apron with a sash. The Maya women are dressed in native costume with red headscarves. All participating were given red headscarves to wear. Native flute music was in the background during some of the ceremony. The remaining 12 Mayan, six men and six women, proceeded with the ceremony. First, three Maya men formed a circle on the grass with white sugar to represent the earth. They divided the circle into four sections, with a dot in each section representing the four cardinal directions of the earth. Next, copal incense and pine needles were added symbolizing the earth. Clear liquid was sprinkled over the circle to symbolize purifying life-giving rain from the heavens. The liquid alcohol was used to help sustain the candle fire. Six candles, blue representing heaven, green representing earth, red representing east, black representing west, white representing north, and yellow representing south were added and lit to symbolize light and heat to sustain earth life. Flowers, pine branches, corn, cocoa beans, and other items were added. These items symbolize plants and animals that were created for the earth. In the Popol Vuh, the sacred book of the Maya, we learn that the first people forgot their creator God and the wisdom he taught, so he destroyed them by flood. After the flood, the corn people came to the earth. As the smoke rose from the candles burning in the circle, we were taught that smoke carries our prayers to heaven. The evil spirits were then cast out by leader Rigoberto so the ceremony could proceed. Twelve Mayans positioned themselves with three on each side of the four sides of the earth circle. We all followed them as they turned east, knelt, and prayed. The leader then blew on his comb shell four times. We prayed again, then bent down and kissed Mother Earth. The same procedure was repeated three more times, facing west, north, and south. Individual blessings were then offered to each person surrounding the 12 Maya elders in the circle. Each Maya elder held a candle, symbolizing light, and a pine branch, symbolizing the tree of life, which they used to touch and bless the body parts of each individual. First they touched the head and blessed it with the candle pine branch. Then the ears, eyes, nose, and mouth. Next they blessed the arms and hands. Then they blessed the front and back, followed by blessing the legs and feet, always touching each part with a candle and pine branch. Following these individual blessings, the Maya leader Rigoberto lit incense in a small bowl. Holding it, he walked in front and back of each person, blowing smoke for purification and to carry the prayers heavenward.
This is reflected on ancient hieroglyphic monuments, Stella 5, 18, and 24 at the Azapa Preclassic Maya Temple Complex. The 12 Maya elders again took their places around the fire circle, with three on each of the four sides. Then each elder, man and woman, recited five day names by memory. This was done 13 times on each of the four sides, totaling 65 on a side. Four times 65 totals 260 day names. This sacred 260 day count equals the nine month human gestation period. At the end of counting in each quarter, the man or woman officiating gave a short prayer. In these ceremonies, we were taught that a man and a woman should be united as husband and wife, and that marriage is like the trunk of the tree. Ancestors are the roots, our children are the branches. Our families will one day be with our ancestral family tree. We were taught that all plants, animals, and humans, all forms of life were created to continue creating. We were taught that all mankind must honor the wisdom and sacrifice of their ancestors and carry their righteous traditions on with families and clans. We were taught that our positive actions will bring good in our lives with the positive life forces around us. We were taught to care for those less fortunate, to help others along this journey of mortality. We were taught that the Sabbath day is a holy day, not a day for work. We were taught to offer prayer at the break of each day, at noon, and in the evening with our families. We were taught to pray before and after each meal with gratitude for life-giving food we eat, a blessing from our Creator God. Following the day counts and blessings, everyone was given six colored candles, incense, and other offerings to put into the fire as prayer offerings. Each person then put their prayer offerings into the circle of fire, rendering their prayers heavenward, rising with the smoke. With our empty hands, we pulled the smoke from the altar over our bodies 13 times. Following the offerings, we then faced east, west, north, and south, kneeling to pray with the palms of our hands up or together, then bending forward on our knees to kiss Mother Earth. Following each ceremony, our Mayan spiritual guides formed a half circle by the embers of the fire altar. We all walked to hug each one of them and then each other. With this warm and loving spirit of unity, we whispered that we are all hermanos y hermanas, brothers and sisters. On June 26, 2010, at our last meeting with the Mayan spiritual guides, we had a traditional native lunch with blessings before and after the meal. At the conclusion, our spiritual leader, Rigoberto Itzap, stood with tears in his eyes, thanking everyone and saying that his Mayan people had suffered from many wars, losing many families, branches from the tree trunks, but never losing the traditions of their ancestral roots. He said, they and their ancestors have never made weapons of war, nor fought with weapons to injure or kill others, even though they had suffered much at the hands of others with weapons. Rather than fight, they fled persecution. Then Rigoberto blessed and prayed for us to share the memories of our journey with our families and friends as we return to our homes and places of work. We need to spread love for one another and bury our weapons of war, share the love we have felt together on this journey, and care for one another and our brothers and sisters, all people of God's creation. He thanked us for our respect and tenderness on our journey together and said, Today is not a coincidence. 